Hello everybody, welcome back to Ryan G's Barbecue and Stuff. Today I'm going to be making a chicken hot pot. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it, give you a rundown. It's an indoor cook today. So uh, let's get to cooking it. So this is going to be a nice and easy cook. Something you can just all sling together in one pan. As you can see, I've got some chunky soup, chicken and vegetables. Some uh, pearl barley in water, which needs to be drained. A few potatoes, three onions, and some chicken. I'm going to cook the chicken on the bone in one pan with some olive oil. Mm -hmm. That's gin. Uh, olive oil. <laughs> so uh, I'll start to get it all cooking. First thing that needs to be done, I'm going to slice the potatoes with a mandolin and the onion, then set them aside. Put the chicken in the pan and get that browned. Then once that's done, I'm going to put the soup in and the pearl barley, give it a mix around um, with the onion and the chicken and then top it off with some potatoes. And then put it in the oven for a few hours at about gas mark four or lower just to break it all down and get it all nice and tasty. I'm going to top and tail these onions and the potatoes ready for the mandolin. Get rid of all of the outer wrapping or skin, I suppose you call it. It'll be nice and easy. Let's do the same with a potato. So I'll probably take off a little bit so I can stick the handle in for the mandolin. I've taken the top of my thumb off once of one of these buggers. They're um, super sharp. So I'm going to do this and I'll show you the um, results in a second. First off I'm going to slice the onion, so I'm going to take the guard here, place the onion on it, like so, and then give it a good going over with this mandolin. As I said it's so important to, wear a, to use the guard on these because they're so sharp. I've come unstuck a couple of times so it's important that you use the guard I'm sure you don't want to see any more of that so I'll uh, do the rest in a sec so there's just olive oil in that pan I'm going to test how hot it is it's been on for about 40 seconds now with an onion a little slice of onion which I sliced up so once that starts to bubble, we know we're ready to rock with a chicken. There we go, it's just starting to go now. No. So I'll bring the chicken in. Got a leg there. Put it all skin side down and get it crispy. Remember, we're only gonna brown it, so left the bone in to give it a bit of flavor. I don't think it makes that much difference, but you know, why not? It's all crackling away nicely. I'm just going to run a bit of salt and pepper over that as well. And then we'll be ready to rock. So the chicken's coming along nicely now. I'm just going to turn it over. Hopefully we should see a little bit of colour on it. It's been going a few minutes. So yeah, it's just starting to go a bit golden, which is what we want. Get a bit of flavour in the pan. Last one. Yeah, that's nice. What I'll do make a bit of room in the middle. And put the onions in. As you can see, I've sliced up the onions and the potatoes. Ooh, the potatoes will be going on later on. For now, we'll just have the onions.
this has been simmering away for about 15 minutes on a medium heat let's take a look now hopefully the onions are broken down a bit I've given it a bit of a move around so there we go it don't look too bad olive oil is just bubbling away I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of um, lemon pepper just to uh, give it a bit of zing which is never a bad thing then I'm gonna put the pearl barley in now uh, remember this is in a tin so the idea behind this dish is speed really so well I say speed for a casserole probably be looking at about one and a half hours total cook time but there's the pearl barley I'm gonna sprinkle that in now just let the heat of the pan break it down and give it a little bit of a mix I'll give that five minutes just to warm through with the lid back on then I'll put the soup in so the pearl barley's been in there a little while now just give it a mix around what this is going to do is just thicken things up make it all nice and gooey and sumptuous what I'm gonna do in a minute well in fact what I'm gonna do now is put the chicken soup in as well I think what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of water in that just to um, loosen things up Let's give it a stir first, see what's going on. No, it's all starting to come together now. Who said cooking this sort of thing has to be difficult? I'll tell you what, considering how long that's going to be in for, I might add a bit of water. because we're going to lose that as the cook goes on anyway, so. Yeah, it's looking pretty decent, I think. Next stop will be the potatoes on the top. I'll just bring that back to a simmer. Let me show you some more. What I'm going to do now is uh, wash the potatoes on the top, cover them with olive oil, and um, put them in the oven. So we'll start going round. Balance them. I think I'll take it off the heat. Or at least turn it down. And around we go. I've left the skin on the potatoes. That's because I like it like that and I'm feeling a bit lazy. There we go, ain't that pretty? So we give it a bit of olive oil, just to help brown them up. Not much, just a little bit. Salt and pepper to finish. Maybe even a bit of that lemon pepper that I got, just because I can. Now that can go in the oven for about an hour. So I'll put, lid, well, I'll put it in there for half an hour without a lid, then put a lid on and see how it cracks on. Right, so it's all out of the oven. It's really, really crispy. So what I'm gonna do is scoop some up, serve it on a plate. 
and we'll see how the chicken come out. I'm pretty sure it's going to be fantastic. So here's my one pan cook chicken casserole. Just about to give it a bit of a taste. Mmm. It's so good. My chicken and the pulled barley and the potato. It'll work really well together. Cooks down, makes a really sort of umptious, nice home cooked meal. And as you saw, it was really, really easy to do. So please do like, share, subscribe to my channel, tell everyone about it. Thanks a lot from Ryan G's barbecue and stuff. See you again soon.